good evening everyone so like me, after a drought of nearly three months uh, we are back uh, with an exciting lineup of talks i suppose today we are starting a new thing that is cosmology and uh, the first front of will we'll deliver the first talk in the series which is titled uh, the mysteries of the cosmos and how we study them uh, which i suppose will basically give us a glimpse of the past present and future the exciting field of cosmology uh, anyway, uh, Dr. Sutanta obtained his BSMS 12 degree from IIT Kanpur and then he moved to Canada to pursue his doctorate from the University of Ottawa. Um, after that, he joined uh, as a postdoctoral fellow uh, at the Cosmology Lab uh, at the University of Arizona. Um, his broad research interest is, of course, cosmology, uh, but I believe his research spans across a variety of interesting ways that incorporates uh, observational data with theoretical models to for cosmological parameters or uh, speaking otherwise to answer the biggest uh, questions of our universe actually. So we are excited to hear more about it in the talk. Uh, so yeah, over to you and please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, but uh, at the question um, uh, start, so it, should I um, Give the talk in Assamese or English, like I'm comfortable in both. What would it, well. so we are totally okay. flexible. Okay, but is is everyone comfortable uh, if I give it in Assamese? Yes. Um, uh, I think, uh, uh, Doctor Supranta, there are some of them who are like uh, from neighboring states as well. So okay, if, okay. If, if you keep it bilingual, it, it it's uh, better for all of us. Actually. Okay, okay, perfect, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank uh, you. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me. Um, I mean, this is uh, the. I mean, it's really great to see this great initiative to you know connect uh, researchers from across the world with uh, you know uh, talking about the latest research in their field. Um, and today, what I am going to be talking about is my field of research, um, which is called cosmology. Uh, sorry, my <laughs> Uh, the initial title was seemed a bit too complicated, but like, you know, uh, I, I, yeah, I just sent it like one random day after waking up. So sorry about that. Um, uh, so what I, so what I want to share with you today is the, is what I find very exciting, um, uh, today, like, you know, the, how the field of cosmology is evolved, evolving, uh, or has evolved in the past what it is like today and what I think is coming in the next few years. Um, so, so, but before beginning, like uh, already um, Himanshu gave a brief introduction uh, about me, but like, uh, so to say a few more words about my trajectory. So I started out, um, so I was born in the uh, city of Jorhat. And then I, um, I spent my childhood there until class 10 after which I actually um, lived in Guwahati for two years, where I did my class 11, 10, 12. Um, I actually studied in the army public school. Uh, and, you know, those two years were like probably the best years of my life, you know, and I, and I hope for all the students who are um, studying in, in Guwahati right now, like, you know, you are having the best time of your uh, life as well. I, I, I sincerely hope so. Uh, after which I then went for my uh, bachelor's to uh, Kanpur and I spent five years there um, where I actually I met a lot of other uh, researchers from Assam doing uh, you know physics and other uh, uh, topics um, and now after that like since 2016 I've been living in the North America first I decided to live in the in in uh, Waterloo which happens to be one of the you know Canada is one of the coldest places of the um, of of the world, and then just to compensate for that, I then moved to Tucson, which happens to be in Arizona, in the middle of the desert, and it is like one of the you know it is one of the hottest places on the U.S. and you know right now it's hitting forty degrees centigrade. So um, yeah, so that's been my trajectory, and I'm happy to also answer more questions uh, about about research, about life uh, in the. US and Canada or anything else that you might have uh, after the after the talk. So um, with that introduction out of the way, let me get into um, cosmology. Um, so um, the 
structure of the talk is something like the following. So I start for him. Um, I cosmology ki hoy he tour pra start ko ekle. Then I'll uh, move on to um, describing the history uh, of cosmology as a originally how the science of cosmology came about. And then I'll talk about what is currently going on in the field of research in cosmology. More um, about something exciting is happening right now in cosmology. Uh, sort my my heri future ki hobolo boise kiki notun telescope able how they might uh, revolutionize the uh, the study of cosmology. And finally, that episode more do a con slide the comes out more current research or what Okay, so cosmology. So cosmology is only at a broad definition. It's it can be described as uh, the study of the universe as a whole. We sort of you take the universe as a whole and then study the laws of physics and astrophysics and everything else that governs um the governs the universe um our a question to um manu hai bohut boss bohut mane jetia pra history ase tetia pra a question to kotha bhabi ase aru mane for example ji kunu moi zona etao religion nai juntu a to a to question address no kore je amar bisobrahmanda start kene ke hoisle but what governs um, the uh, laws of the universe um interestingly moi yate ekhon a picture kon je dekho so more hit moi etu in a moi just uh, google search kori thonta mo gom palu je bohutu religion ot aru bohutu aru asoy kotha ase bohutu religion jun keta connected o no hoy kisuma hindu mythology to ase ple chinese mythology to ase and even native american mythology that a story ase je prithibi kon ki nu hetu explain korbo karane protect to mythology te eta story ase je prithibi kon eta kasor upor ase aru korbat korbat hetu story to eni koje eta kasor upor ditu kasor tar upor prithibi kon tene ko eta story ase gotike for a long time the cosmol the the study of cosmology was in the realm of philosophy so karan hetu homoy that's all we could answer ami ami tar bahire ta ke beyond ami observe korbo noislu ba hetu loi pla eta assessment kora dik dei asle kintu but in the last 100 years most kichuman development mane kichuman development er kotha kom etia kintu in the last 100 years um amar hatot we have mane amar hatot bahut dangor dangor telescope ahi plele so with these powerful telescopes we can watch uh, our universe with more and more accuracy aru he accuracy to hote aji etia cosmology to has moved from uh, the realm of philosophy to the realm of science aru mo aji heture kotha kom starting from the history to what is going on now and again going into the future so interestingly so so Baki science, black zone to hoi, but ami ami that ya science or kotha patu. Usually, um, science to test kore boka ne. Ziko no science advanced kore boka ne. Duta bos to lagye. Ata hoise theory zone to explain kore. Zay amar um, mane which explains some phenomena. Ar logo te ata lagye experiment. Aru uh, most likely it malko college to tumhar you have to do both you have to do theory as well as experiments kintu cosmology khetra eta problem ase cosmology and broadly astrophysics o karne uh, astrophysics ot um eta mane experiment ko eto dig dai karon mon gole ko ba tora eta ase hetu khutai dibo to noi no mane uh, gotike so we are given only one universe I will get a universe to bra. We have to um, deduce the what is the theory that governs um, the evolution. Basically, um, astrophysics or we don't talk about uh, 
experiments, but we talk about observations. Aru he observation go ahead, no to no to telescope or hat. Aru development to do it for a no to telescope a hilly get up a no to observations ahead. He observations black echo no to theoretical development beside. I go to get hit with theoretical physics or to advance for it. Our other way of hope is a theoretical physics or keep advancement as a Z to a predict for as a child or the more universe to universe or physics is like this. Take ya to my key. I mean, the keyboard. I mean, universe. Are you interestingly cosmology? The Tiara cosmology as a science, the Tiara start with it. Yeah, that do it up for learning us. I mean, I go back to someone to someone was to not an observation. So can a theoretical development with it. You know, go back to about a goal that who is a problem at a theoretical development for a Tarpra. Um, my name Tarpra not on telescope or demand a hair. He took an a not on telescope at a bar. Not on observation that demand a hit to taps at side. Our taps at check with a phrase that oh, and no, and a key. Um. Arumoy, Arumoy, ek gude talk to them. I mean, ek duita bostur ek otha moy mane closely pati bokuzo. Ar especially currently, mane maybe it is something that you might have heard. For the data is the new oil. Ba mane data science is the big thing right now. The mane mane data to loy pelai. How can you extract information from that? That is basically the science that. I'm going to be talking about Aru. In the data aspect of time, I'm going to talk about the data aspect So cosmology start, I think, is a science. This is the start of Einstein and his theory of relativity, general theory of relativity. Aru, theory of general relativity to Einstein is in 1915. Going from then, uh, so one of the first predictions of GDR is uh, something called gravitational lensing. Itu mo aru kotha patim. Itu actually currently one of my areas of research. Aru mo home piso. Itu basic idea to this is the general theory of relativity mo the gravity e akol eta akol bostu bale ball eta ba apel do. Okay, here to attract no more. General theory of relativity also also predicts that because of gravity, light also gets attracted. So it yata zoom kon picture dekhaye sir. Duro or eta zoti tora thake. Tarpra zoom to light bithi bilay ahi thake. Kito kujjo kahe di zoti ahe. Kujjo gravitation door karne light gets bent like this. अगर देखें जितिया आर्थर प्रा ये तोड़ा तो देखा जाता है तार जितिया आमी देखीम देखा तो अको हेतुओं तो इनको लाइट ये लाइट और लाइन डाल जोरी सीधा कोई प्लेट देखो आमी देखीम यहाँ पे सो दियो तार ओरिजिनल पोजीशन भी आता है तो ठीक है क्यों है कि तोड़ा प्रा जो तो लाइट हेतु इनके डिफ्लेक्ट हो a convex lens here. Our head to turn it is going to affect her. It will go a gravitational lensing. Um, are you it way who is the Einstein or I'm an Einstein or theory of general relativity first test. You know, Tara got a very interesting story. Actually, Einstein or um, when a lucky escape will go away. The before he gave the theory of general relativity. He predicted this lensing effect. Aruhe, just the initial prediction as well. He told the factor of two at a pahoy good. But again, he told that the whole, I mean, you can call it a call it Einstein's silly mistake, basically. Aru interestingly, 1940, not that the full general theory of relativity to predict was left. Tara got a 1940, not. Duzon scientist that Einstein not here to check for a book and a PTR Russia are as a Ukraine not check for a global man observe for a global Duzon scientist 
प्रथम जन हल नाम हल अरविन फिडलेक फ्रेंडलि जार्मानी गल तलर से क्राइमियान पेनिन्सुल सेकेंड जन यूएस एलियम वालेस कैम्बेल लाक फर्चुन दार्ड वर्किंग टाइम अबजार्व कर इन द मीन टाइम वर्ल्ड वार ओन स्टार्ट हो गर्ल्ड वार स्टार्ट ओन स्टार्ट हर पीछे जो जार्मान सैंटिस्ट राशिया जेल कर पेलाले और इज यूएस एर सैंटिस्ट डिपोर्ट कर पेलाले भाले कोर नजानो आम कोर से लोग युद्ध मजद मे वि स्पाय नजान गोलोक हेरी तो मानने नायकिया कर पेलाले मानने you know but you know there's a minus sign that's missing so be kind to yourself man you know even the greatest of them all uh, makes mistake um anyway so so that was that so this was the uh, this was einstein's lucky escape but uh, after that 1950 not he understood the i mean the initial uh, theory of gravitational lensing was wrong so 1950 not um, he gave the correct prediction and then 1990 not uh, there was arthur eddington who then went to another uh, place and uh, this was after world war 1 ended and um tem ki korle te eta solar eclipse or samoy tem khurjor um ekhon picture lole aro ekhon i think um eddington or uh, he original mission tour uh, picture hoy e jun ge ta khoru khoru dot dekhoyse hetu hoyse je ori mane het ग्रेविटेशनल डिफ्लेक्शन डिस्कभर ओके सो ए टू होइस अ जनरल थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी एस्टैब्लिशमेंट किंतु इन द मीन टाइम अम कॉस्मोलॉजी थ्योरेटिकल डेवलपमेंट टू ऑलरेडी स्टार्ट हो गइस ले अम मेनली डुजोन साइंटिस्ट एज ऑन रशियन एलेक्जेंडर फ्रीडमैन बिलीव ले और इज ऑन बेल्जियन जॉर्जस लेमेट्रे बिलीव ले दे लुक डू इज ऑन ए जेटिया अम व्हेन दे स्टडी जनरल थ्योरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी अ जेनेरल थियोरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी जोन केटा मेन इक्वेशन हे केटा आइंस्टाइन इक्वेशन लिख और हे आइंस्टाइन इक्वेशन और जेटिया सॉल्यूशन डिसेबलर सेस्टा कोइले दुइ जने ते लोग दुइ जने गोम पाले जे एटा सिंपल सॉल्यूशन जोन टू माने जोन टू आइंस्टाइन माने जोन टू जेनेरल थियोरी ऑफ रिलेटिविटी अलाउ करे हेतो होइसे जे यूनिवर्स और स्पेस टू एक्सपैंडिंग होबो पारे जे विथ टाइम खेलीफार्सन बहुते माने बहुते हेतु फेवर करा नासिले फॉर एग्जांपल इवन आइंस्टाइन व्हेन अम लेमेट्रे टोल्ड आइंस्टाइन अबाउट हिज सॉल्यूशन 
uh, einstein ne kole se your math is correct but the physics is abominable abominable mane it's like very unpleasant mane aru einstein e bhabisle je nai mane universe cannot be uh, expanding but it has to be static so this was the theoretical development of the thing uh, by the way one quick side note about uh, the two uh, gentlemen over here so alexander friedman um zetia <laughs> zetia a solution to koise uh, tetia russia world war 1 full soli asle aru alexander friedman or kam hoisle se teu uh, teu uh, russia r jonkhini uh, mane artillery uh, mane tar calculation koiblo loisile you know tar side of he was also working on the theory of general relativity um and on the other hand jorges uh, uh, lemaitre teu asile ejon catholic priest uh, catholic priest Aru, but uh, he found the idea of expanding universe to be not in you know not at all in odds with uh, his religion and and then you know try to combine the two in a, into something which is uh, you know palatable to both again moral of the story mo inko lage je asol jontu occupation hetut ke baki ke ba korat sobore interest to beshi aru tathe beshi go like contribute koi lage do you know uh anyway just joking um but okay uh so zetia theory uh, theoretical eta ahile tetia tetial ke kuneo a solution ke ta seriously lo anasile einstein equation or so this was in like early 1920s ki do it a mean time ki holds a um there were observations to back up this claim aru he observation of story to start hoy with uh, with uh, the astronomer henrietta leavitt so henrietta leavitt was among the first women of uh, astronomer who made like a really significant contribution to the field of astronomy so they uh, what what she discovered are these um, are these stars called cepheid variables um, i won't go into the details but the main point is um, যিকোনো এটা তরা আমি যদি দেখো পটককে তার ডিস্টেন্স তো মেজার করাটো বিরাট দিগদারি সেটু ইমান সহজত মেজার করব নয় কিন্তু যেটা এই সেফিড ভেরিয়েবল সেইকেটার কিছু প্রপার্টি আছে যার কারণে আমি সেই তরা কেটার ডিস্টেন্স তো একুরেটলি মেজার করবেন তারপর নাইনটিন টুয়েন্টি আর এজন এস্ট্রনমার আসলে এডভিন হাবল বহুত মানে এনেকা সেফিড ভেরিয়েবল স্টার বেলে বেলে জায়গাত চাবল ললে গিয়ে চাই পেল প্রথম কথা প্রথম কথা যেটা এইবার ডেভেলপমেন্ট হয়ে আছে নাইনটিন টুয়েন্টি লেক সাইন্টিফিক কমিউনিটি এইটু কনসেনসাস নাই যে কি গেলেক্সি আছে ইউনিভার্স যে আমার মিল্কি ওয়েট হয়ে এটা গেলেক্সি নে আরো গেলেক্সিজ আছে ইউনিভার্স মিল্কি ওয়েট বাইরে কিন্তু নাইনটিন টুয়েন্টি এডুইন হবলে ডিসকভার করলে যে আমার ইউনিভার্স দেয়ার আর গ্যালেক্সিজ এপার্ট ফ্রম দ্য মিল্কি ওয়ে আরো গ্যালেক্সিজ আছে গতি ইমিডিয়েটলি ইউনিভার্স কি ডর তার কনসেপশন তো বহু গুণ বাড়ি গেল ইমিডিয়েটলি আর নেক্সট ডিসকভারি যুক্ত হে করলে দ্যাট ইজ দ্য ডিসকভারি যে যেটা যখন বাকি গ্যালেক্সি আছে আমার মিল্কি ওয়ের বাইরে সেই মিল্কি ওয়ে গ্যালেক্সি বোর আমাকে দূরত গে আছে আর দেয়ার ফোর দ্যাট দ্যাট সাজেস্ট যে আমার ইউনিভার্স খুব এক্সপ্যান্ড করে আছে এটা এক্সপ্যান্ডিং ইউনিভার্স মানে আসল কি কো মানে সেটার কারণে বুঝাব সেটু বুঝাব কারণে এনে একটা সর এনিমেশনটা করল সো ইমেজিন করা যে এই যে ব্ল্যাক ডট ইয়ে সেটা আমার গ্যালেক্সি আর সেই গ্যালেক্সি টুর আর বাকি যে রেড ডট এইখিনিও আর বাকি গ্যালেক্সি গতি কি হয়েছে যে আমাকে সব গ্যালেক্সি আমাকে দূরলে গে আছে কিন্তু এই চাওতে তুমি ভাববা যে যে আচ্ছা মানে ইউনিভার্স খুব এক্সপ্যান্ড করে আছে কিন্তু মানে মিল্কি ওয়ে ইজ এট দ্য সেন্টার অফ দ্য ইউনিভার্স কিন্তু সেটু নয় তুমি যদি আমার গ্যালেক্সি টুর চালে এনে দেখি কিন্তু তুমি যদি তারপর এই সেউজিয়া গ্যালেক্সি টুলে গুছি যাওয়া সেই রাইটত যুক্ত দেখা আছে তে দেখিবা দুইটাতে দুইটা গ্যালেক্সি প্রায় তোমার ইউনিভার্স খুব এক্সপ্যান্ড করার নিচিনা হয়ে থাকে তার মানে কি যে ইউনিভার্স ইজ নট এক্সপ্যান্ডিং ওনলি এরাউন্ড আওয়ার গ্যালেক্সি 
rather what is happening is that my space itself is expanding mane tumi eneke imagine kora je jodi tumi eta classroom ot bohi asa aru he class to e dangor hoi hoi goi ase gotike aru tumaluk jod bohi asa soki ekhon he ekhon dhorla galaxy ba gotike jodi classroom to e jodi dangor hoi hoi goi thake tetia tumar itu hitu pra jonto distance sobore pra itu sobore sobore pra jonto distance etu bahi bahi goi thake so that's what we mean by the expansion of the universe the expansion of the universe is not the okol uh, okol galaxy bur halo prati phal goi ase rather it's it means that tumar um, mane the 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 space itself is expanding so a a discovery to already um, it sent uh, shock waves into scientific communities uh, it was not expected but you know once you have good observations then you know there's nothing to deny that or that's what happened um it um tar pisot ahile another surprise a more bohu bosor skip koiso ete yate kintu um um so so expanding universe khonor jetia discovery hole tar pisot right now aru kisuman mysteries as a universe so to ami etia na etia leke bhalke bhal idea nai so one of them is what is called uh, dark matter and interestingly so so yate etu tumar mane astrophysics or pie chart likho so amar ami zona bostu jiman ase zona mane ki normal physics or jun kini pohu je proton neutron electron aru jikunu he type of particle tene ko particle actually amar universe o okol 5% Uh, sorry, a question. Is there a question? No, no, no. There is no question. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So the known particles only make up something like five percent of the total uh, composition of the universe. Baki is into seventy percent. Baki is into ninety-five percent. That is made up of something called the dark matter and the dark energy. Do we try to talk more? You know, let me first talk about uh, dark matter. so dark matter mane ki um so dark matter is something um which is which is some matter that that um, interacts gravitationally into baki eko interaction nai mane ki eta already mo jodi eta mo hat khon jodi eneke dhori rakhu right now probably dark matter particles are passing through me or not only through me but through all of us and that is something that we don't understand the key ho actually dark matter i mean i mean assume ikelga we don't have a very good theory of what dark matter is kintu then comes the question say acha thik ase baro i have invoked this magical dark matter how do we know that it exists aru he to i have a notun observation as a kotha Our this observation is something like this. I will more yet. Eta equation as such, don't more include for you. But I am hoping that that will be easy to understand. So yet, it will take us to eta galaxy as a core. But our zodi to me, so as a galaxy, it will be more like a galaxy. So I will keep on zero degree as a. What's the velocity of these stars? Zodi to me, so um, zodi to me, all zone kini visible matter as a. He to zodi to me, you take that into account. मैटारे मानसिटीर আৰু যদি তুমি হেতু সোৱা যে আচ্ছা কিমান বেছি মাছ লাগিব যোনটো আমি অবজৰ্ভ কৰোঁ তাতকে দেন ইউ ফাইন যে নহয় ভিজিবল মেটাৰ যোনটো তাতকে 5 গুণ বেছি 
বস্তু লাগে হেই কইব কেন মানে এ এ এ এ অবজারভেশন টু এক্সপ্লেইন কইব কেন সো যেতিয়া হেতু হল কি এ যোনটো আননোন ম্যাটার এটুকে কোলে ডার্ক ম্যাটার বলি আর এটু ডিসকভার কইছিলে 1970 ভেরা রুবি uh vera rubin was uh, one of the one of the greatest astronomer of the 20th century i would say and uh, she did this discovery after 15 years of work aru hetwe uh, this shows another thing about research uh, and this is true for all research but particularly for astrophysics research is that to discover anything it requires a lot of work like um uh, 15 bosor eta bostu kam kori bokane it requires a lot of patience and a lot of hard work aru that was what was done and you know and after that we knew more about what our universe looks like okay um so that was dark matter aru etia mokom aru jondu baki 70% asile that was called dark energy আর কম্পেয়ারেটিভলি রিসেন্ট ডিসকভারি হেটু দিস ওয়াজ দ্য ওনলি মেজর ডিসকভারি অফ কসমোলজি দ্যাট হ্যাপেন ইন মাই লাইফ টাইম এন্ড ইট হ্যাপেন ইন নাইনটিন ডার্ক এনার্জি স্টার্ট উইথ দ্য পিকচার দ্যাট আই শোট বিফোর উইচ ইস দ্য এক্সপ্যান্ডিং ইউনিভার্স সো ইউনিভার্স এক্সপ্যান্ড হয়ে আছে আমি জানো গতিকে সেটু সেটু বারো বহু আগতেই ডিসকভার করলে কিন্তু এটা বস্তু হয়েছে যে ঠিক আছে ইউনিভার্স কিনা কারণে এক্সপ্যান্ড করে আছে ভাবা গেছিল যে বিকজ মানে সব বস্তুর গ্রাভিটি আছে গতি এক্সপ্যান্ড অরিজিনালি করে থাকলেও যেহেতু গ্রাভিটি এট্রেক্টিভ এই যে এক্সপ্যান্ডশন সে অল্প স্লো হব গতি স্লো হব মানে কি ইনিশিয়ালি যে ফেলসিটি গ্যালেক্সি বুক হয়ে আসলে সেই ফেলসিটি একটু কমি কমি আহি থাকবে সে ভাবা গেছিল কিন্তু ইন্টারেস্টিংলি যেটা আর আর সে কারণে কি হল নাইনটিন নাইনটিজ কেবাটাও এস্ট্রনমার টিম মেইনলি লেড বাই এডাম the analogy is something like this the imagine kora tumi ekhon mane koba ekhon field le gola aru ini eta ball eta mai dila eneke tumi bhai pa je acha ball tu jodi mai diu e jontu tennis ball tu ase tenikoke ball tu mai diar pasat pore jabo that is gravity into what was found was not je tumar ball tu jete mai dila etu prothom alob de karane tar velocity tu komile kintu tar pisot ta actually velocity tu bahi bolo helo তুমি সো ইমাজিন মানে ইউ থ্রো আ বল আপ এন্ড ইনিশিয়ালি ইট ইস ডিসেলারেটিং এন্ড দেন ইট স্টার্ট এক্সেলারেটিং আপ তার মানে কি হব সো তার যদি ইফ ইউ অবজার্ভ দ্যাট দ্যাট উইল টেল আস যে নহয় মানে অন অন দিস স্কেলস অফ গ্যালেক্সিজ দে ইজ নট অনলি গ্রাভিটি বাট দে ইজ অলসো সামথিং লাইক এন্টাই গ্রাভিটি যোন টু হুইচ পুশেস স্টাফ আওয়ে আর সেটু কারণে আর 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 সেটু ডিসকভার মানে সেটু দ্যাট ইজ এ ডিসকভারি দ্যাট ওয়াজ জাস্ট মেড বাই অবজার্ভিং থিংস আর তার পিছত উই ডোন্ট হ্যাভ আ গুড আইডিয়া অফ হোয়াট ইট ইজ দেয়ার ফোর উই জাস্ট কল ইট ডার্ক এনার্জি এন্ড এজ ইউ মাই বি গেসিং ফ্রম নাও এস্ট্রনমার্স হ্যাভ দিস ভেরি ইউ নো ব্যাড নেমিং কনভেনশন যে কোনো যদি বুঝি না পায় সেটুকে ডার্ক কিনা এটা বলে প্লে কই দিয়ে okay so this is mostly what i have for i have to talk about the history of cosmology um now i'll come to the come to what the current status of cosmology is so egeta main bostu mo cover korbo basically in terms of history of cosmology so currently so a dark energy to jetia discover korile tar pisot ki holse so ane scientist tengwa mane dher scientist tor মানে গ্রুপ আহিলে এই বিচার যে হাউ বেস্ট টু স্টাডি ডার্ক এনার্জি এটা কি হল যে আর্লি টু থাউজেন্ডস এটা প্রপোজ করলে যে মানে দে উইল বি ফোর স্টেজ অবজারভেশন প্রসেস টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হোয়াট ডার্ক এনার্জি ইজ সো এগেন দিস অলসো শোজ যে আর্লি টু থাউজেন্ডরপরা দ্যাট ওয়াজ আ ভিশন ফর দ্য নেক্সট থার্টি ইয়ার্স 
हेलो स्टार्टिंग theory of the universe is correct kintu currently jete ami observe korum bostu tu etu hoyse je duta the dui ta type of observations e belag belag answer diye so hetu it's like tumi eketa bostu karane duta rasta banaisa dui phalor pra ar he dui ta phalor pra rasta tu banaya hi pilai tumi disa je acha no milibo lagisle kintu mila nai ki hol je amar original jodu calculation etu kiba ta gorbor ase tar mane स्टेज फोर that is something that is either just starting ba mane it's going to be started in a few years so mo he tu kotha alok kobo khuju je what are these stage four surveys or how are they going to observe so prathom jon to stage four surveys dikha kotha kobo khuju he tu hoyse euclid bli ba he euclid to eta space telescope jon to july 1st ot launch korisile um yeah, spacex uh, launch course like the first uh, satellite zoom private company at launch course aru he satellite to actually so um recently tumalke hunisa sa ki isro eta aditya l1 uh, satellite ro kotha zoom to surya to um, study korbo he to zoom to aditya l1 bli koy he l1 to a point to a a e zoom ke ta l1 l2 a point ke ta koy e ke ta hoyse tumar lagrange point bli koy আর এই পয়েন্ট এটার ইন্টারেস্টিং পয়েন্ট তো কি যে এই পয়েন্ট এটা তোমার আর্থ আর সানৰ জন্তু গ্ৰেভিটি হেতু সমান হয় গতিকে তুমি যদি এটা বস্তু যদি তাত থৈ দিয়া যেনেকে তোমাৰ সূৰ্যটো ঘূৰি থাকে সেই বস্তুটো সূৰ্যৰ মানে সৰি যেনেকে পৃথিৱীখন ঘূৰি থাকে তেনেকে স্যাটেলাইট উইল অলসো কিপ ৰিভলভিং এৰাউণ্ড দা সান ইন দা সেম ওয়ে আম so aditya l1 zone to tar mission to hoyse tumar surya to study kore gotike ki koyse he tak pothiyase l1 point ole which is closer to the sun compared to earth kintu zone to euclid telescope tar mission to hoyse je surya to sabon noi surya to hoyse surya to pohor to asolta euclid or kane beya karon euclid wants to observe the rest of the universe গটিকে ইউক্লিড অফ কোথেলে টু দ্য সাইড হুইচ ইজ ফারদার অ্যাওয়ে ফ্রম দ্য আর্থ কম্পেয়ার ফারদার অ্যাওয়ে ফ্রম দ্য আর্থ আর হেটু কইছে এল2 পয়েন্ট বলি কয় আর এই এল2 পয়েন্টতে তোমার ঢের টেলিস্কোপ আছে ইউক্লিড ইজ অনলি দ্য লেটেস্ট অফ देम বাট জেমস ওয়েব স্পেস টেলিস্কোপৰ কথা শুনি আছে সেকে দ্যাট ইজ অলসো সামথিং দ্যাট ইজ অবজারভিং ফ্রম দ্য এল2 এল2 পয়েন্ট আর রিসেন্টলি দেখে ইউক্লিড a first image it to tumar pothiyase this is one of the best uh, uh, image that is possible of the universe uh, yeah there is ziman kini dot dekhisa khoru khoru these are all galaxies tumar ek eta tora hoy etu eta tora hoy etu eta tora hoy then go ke eta duta tora ase you tar bahire a a a figure to dhoilo ziman then go dot ase khoru khoru those are all galaxies so that gives you a sense of the amai universe kon kiman dangor ha ki kiman galaxies ase 
I'm a universe. So, here we have idea logo a picture corner. So, this was the first um, uh, sp stage four surveys into already launch course. Um, second telescope zuntu This is something that I'm currently involved in. Um, I'll be happy to answer more questions about this observatory if you have it. But this is called Vera Rubin Observatory, also called LSST. Um, again, named after Vera Rubin, uh, she was the discoverer of uh, dark matter. Aru, etu, etu ako, e telescope to space all and opote. E to tumar ground dot, uh, kiba or ground or press apo. Aru, he, etu ete currently bonayase Atacama desert or zundu chile dasa. Aru, uh, he, e, e telescope to kimandangor, he tar, uh, and thus to e picture conor pa logo pa, e zundu, uh, picture hoi conor. E, etu is a mirror mount bliko, zun con tumar, uh, mane, um, so these are reflecting telescopes. So you need a uh, concave mirror to observe the universe. Here's one con mirror. Here's one size to this highest foot down our mirror. Zundu ponabo basically no call 3000 kilo, like 23,000 kilo glass like this. And interestingly, this was made at University of Arizona. So my idea currently come for. Aru so ekhon bonai pelai tapsod ekhon zahazare yale puthiwa bese. It also has the world's biggest digital camera. This camera, this is a photo I took uh, when it was being fabricated um, at uh, the Stanford uh, Linear Accelerator Center. It would be the size of the digital camera that is of the size of a small car. And it would matter comparatively. I think our zundu diameter that's like uh, five uh, no, power so, but like it's something like three meters or something like that, and like something like ten feet in in its length. So himan dangor at a camera look like um he types of keyboard. Okay, a camera to uh, a telescope to mount for it. It will basically take a video of the entire night sky every night. Which brings its own sets of problems, which is a iman dangor telescope eta is that tomar eta mane video lo aze. E amar mobile or the space that ya naikya hoye tap sab photo delete koi bolaga. He tu tu koi bolnu hai eta tempo dangor telescope ko kani. So you have to create a dedicated data team zune he data to manage koi bol. And it will create something like fifteen terabytes of data or fifteen thousand GB of data. Every night, it will observe for 10 years. So you can imagine the Kiman Dangor at a data set a camera to create. So, which also brings us to the other point, which is the current Zundu astrophysics. It is true for a long time now, but like particularly uh, true right now. Big data science, like astronomy is also participating in that sort of a big data science and we need more you know more um, new methods to deal with this high volume of data that is coming in from from these telescopes uh, that is true for all the surveys that that will be coming on uh, coming online in the next few years or finally our duta telescope uh, Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope Blicker. Aru Etu Mana basically Zuntu uh Malgasaka Hunisa Hubble Space Telescope. Our successor Blicko by Aru. It's it's a, the, like the ultimate space observatory um Zuntu Japonese. Aru Ketu uh, launch kora plan currently NASA uh, has it has a plan to launch it in ninety uh, in two thousand twenty seven. Aru the other telescope Zuntu Mopotoke home, Hetu is a dark energy spectroscopic instrument blicker. Zuntu abbreviate koi le ako deci bli koi dia so be so so hetu hetu ako alap mane Indian manu ho karna alap funny acronym hoy jayega but uh, anyway so that that is an instrument that is operating um, uh, somewhere very close to here which is like only fifty uh, kilometers from here aro hetu tomar twenty twenty pra operate koi yes sir aro hetu da ko belaga ta technological um, uh, innovation loga hoy sir aro hetu hoy sir um, so for for this telescope, he heard that there are five thousand basically mini robots 
which automatically controls what are known optical fibers. Aru khetu khegeta control koi ple ki kore jo jo galaxies asa ke galaxy pra spectra to collect kore ke optical fibers ble ke. Okay, so this is what I had to say about the whole field in general. It am a potok ke do ya khara kotha kum zam more research to ya currently mane key direction on Korea so. I'm happy to talk more about uh, uh, more about anything related to research or non-research, and I would like to keep that more interactive. But like, I don't have slides for that. So, so my tinta main my research area got comes into my either my PhD pursue course by idea currently Korea so. So the first thing is a dark matter goes to do the head of Kolo. I mean, already Kolo is a dark matter to directly. I mean, uh, it does not emit light. Kintu, what I've also said is that my dark, dark matter does impact the, uh, does, uh, the dark matter does have its gravitational effect. So gravitational effect to take like he heard the head of gravity as a gravity turn a galaxies poor or velocity to impact. He velocity to impact work and I mean, I mean, he calls the velocity to cycle life. I mean, go for the quote dark matter as so it's it's like saying that I mean, I mean, velocity man a sub galaxy velocity to me measure quim. He velocity to measure quip like will that quip like me dark matter quota say he do a mini quip. Our head to head process to quip a reconstruction because so man a um. So, it was a research project. So, it was a it was a galaxy. By the way, not that these galaxies are like many millions of light kilometers, many millions of light years away. So, for example, it was into Virgo cluster, Virgo supercluster. That is the supercluster that's nearest to us. And that is like 10 million light years away from us. So to give you context, man, tar mane it was a Virgo cluster to present a light to, to me as it huh? That light was emitted at a time when human beings have had not yet uh, evolved on the earth. Mane, hit with a, that is one way of seeing how far these things are. But like in this on the scale of cosmology, these are nearby galaxies. <laughs> um anyway, so so gravitational effect to measure measure dark matter research PhD gravitational lensing Heturako, uh, Hetu, I mean, Yara got as it got up at Slate of Mahudjo at a Torak Trotkoislo. Hindu Zedia, I mean, at a galaxy sound, A to at a image, a connecton image, and to my, uh, James Webb Space Telescope release Quisle. That to me, the Kibo Paras, a Horukur and Goke, ask it on Mandikiba, a Bur Tezagat to me, the Kiba, and again, can 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 um he signature to his gravitational lensing or signature that it imparts on galaxies what we know is that that there is some dark matter in here into we cannot see that current projects how can we develop methods by algorithms so that we lensing or signature to look like I mean, dark matter could distribute it. So, here to reconstruct it. Or here to say, here to my other just in a con an example. The question is, I mean, simulation or I mean, try to use our method to do it. I mean, simulation or I mean, a sole distribution to some or tar prami can get reconstruct for it to the question. Our real world teams into me develop for us to future to my is get a space stage four telescope of Tagolo. Our present data, he both it would, I mean, log up or that will be useful for utilizing the data from those uh, telescopes. Aru, finally, um, Manebuhuta Hotu, a hobdo to Hunia Sasaka, it's the new hype, which is 
AI, aru artificial intelligence. Aru apart from the research direction, I pursue Korea. So it was just that I mean, artificial intelligence use to to uh, uh, to help the study of science, or more concretely, the study of cosmology. Um, I won't get into detail, but like basically, the idea is that you can use artificial intelligence to basically run simulations. And that will accelerate the process of creating new simulations. So, for example, yate taller zuntu zunhan picture, he khan taller half to picture khan create kora hoyse with a with a full simulation, which takes many days of computation. You know, tar pisod when you train uh, an artificial intelligence uh, uh, algorithm on these simulations, you can run the same simulation in just 15 seconds so that gives you an idea of like how how um, ai can accelerate scientific discovery and that is another research area that i'm pursuing um we are almost coming up at the hour so moi uh, imane komitia um but i'm happy to talk about more uh, questions if you have any Uh, Dr. Supranti, yeah, that was, uh, I think, uh, very exciting. I mean, I could also learn a lot of things. So now uh, the stage is open to the participants. So if you have any questions, please raise your hand, and then we can really ask the speaker. In case if you find any difficulty, you may type the question in the chat box as well. Uh, yes, uh, I think Hirok Juti Talakdar has a question. So Hirok Juti, just unmute yourself and ask. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, yes, please go ahead. So actually, I have the question about that. Is it expand for the public? Actually, atom to expand for the public? What a particle to it? What a particle to it? What a atom to drama to it? laws of gravity on different scales are different माने की तुम्हार इतिहास अमार just my room to the other cons or a room to expand for a goal but more by is into so far can be spell less than he can do would get road to see good you know he do I mean they come on a permanent he was as a amar money amar to saw up as well to environment he to a case and more or less into money to broad the case was a um they get my data galaxy got up at us here galaxy mazwa zunto distance he to dang or hoi 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 atom bo dang or hoi 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 atom se atom bo thik hai hase um kindo yate mo yata khoru uh addition ta koum zet there are manek kindo ami nazan the dark energy boost to do ki hoi there are theories of dark energy which which i should say zay manek eto no hoi zay eto sub scientist te manek zay keto correct theory kindo there are theories of um dark energy which says that ultimately supposed to expand for you are to my big rip big rip money keep my even atoms will just go away from each other into here to we have no evidence for that but that is a theory it was a theory yes sir जी ढेर एटम आसले बट दे वेर अल कम्पेक्ट सब एक 
তার পরা তোমার বিগ বেং হয়ে পেলে যেটা তোমার হেটো এক্সপ্যান্ড করে বলে আরম্ভ করলে তেতিয়া হেটো এক্সপ্যান্ড করলে আর তার পিছত কি হল তোমার এই যোনখিনি তোমার গ্যালেক্সিজ হয় এই গ্যালেক্সিজ পুর এনেকে ভাব করা যে গ্যালেক্সি যোনটো তোমার গ্র্যাভিটি হেটো এন্টাই গ্র্যাভিটি টু কে স্ট্রং এন্টাই গ্র্যাভিটি মানে যোনটো ডার্ক এনার্জি কিন্তু যদি তুমি ডাঙর স্কেল এটা যদি সোয়া তাতে কি হয় গ্র্যাভিটি টু কে এন্টি গ্র্যাভিটি টু বেসি স্ট্রং হেটো হেটো বুঝি পাইছা না বাৰু আমার ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড তো হেটেও আমার কসমোলজির লগত মানে মানে বেসিক্যালি ইউনিভার্সৰ কথা আমি কি কি নতুন কথা ক'ব পাৰে তো অলপ হেটুৰ কাগজটো ওপৰত অলপ এলাবৰেট কৰি দিব নেকি হয় সো ফার্স্ট অফ অল 21 সেন্টিমিটাৰ অবলিক লাইক কয় যোনটো হেটো মানে কনটেক্সটৰ কাৰণে বাকি বাকি অডিয়েন্সৰ কাৰণে সো হেটো হৈছে এটা মানে এটা নতুন টাইপ অফ অবজারভেচন যোনটো কি হৈছে ৰেডিঅ' টেলিস্কোপ লৈ পেলে um you can observe that um at a at a 21 centimeter stands for um mane at a particular wavelength or light as a he to tumar keneke sabo pari he to hoise he to koy 21 centimeter bolle pa aru he 21 centimeter cosmology bolle koble kole tin ba dher um radio telescope banay ase aru he radio telescope belake he 21 centimeter line to sai pala distribution mane hydrogen or distribution to ki universe ইন্ডিয়াজিস্ট কিমানুসফুল হব that is still a bit unclear if it can be used my main problem to is a 21 cm to observe for um, it it is a noisy measurement mane amar galaxy prao dher jaga pra he eta 21 cm line ahi thake khetu keneke ami separate koribo paru paru no aru keneke koribo pari hebor etialke unclear kintu jodi ami koribo paru then 21 cm um, line will be uh, 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 a very great new observation or it can basically be the uh, n- be the uh, next big uh, probe of cosmology um second question to us like gravitational waves right so gravity so gravitational waves is also a very exciting um, cosmological uh, well it's a very exciting astrophysical probe are uh, for people who might not know india is going to be building a gravitational wave observatory uh, it is probably the biggest scientific experiment that india will participate in so far hetu eta observatory jonto bonabo maharashtra hingoli ple boli ple eta jaga aru to give you context mane gravitational wave observatory to scale to jodi phebole hoy hetu hoyse je tumar gravitational wave observatory to edi kwa je time work at laser arm type of perpendicular to one another each of these arms they're like um like 4 kilometers in uh, length aru gravitational waves that pass hoy then you have to measure the deflection of the laser by an amount that is like close to a, to the size of an atom basically so you have to be that precise 
over this large scale. So, so it's a very challenging telescope, uh, like observatory that is coming up. I I'm very glad that, uh, so this was funded um, just Abosoror. Abosoror, um, March shot, I think, final approval. Right? So, so uh, it was it would be that exciting India car now. Aru um Aru tar bahiro Aru so so okay so it yeah second question to us let's say hey gravitational wave a small jet can I get back over so um uh, here to all of unclear currently the uh, gravitational um wave measurements will be a way to um uh will, will be useful for cosmology but it will be very useful to understand properties of galaxies so galaxies can get formed by tar uh, tar but it doesn't do black hole tar property key cable goes to uh study go book and it would um i hope that answers the question <laughs> um. yeah okay uh i think himanchu uh your doubts are clear right uh, yeah, maybe we can proceed to the chat box. I see some in the chat. Yeah, box. sure, sure. Uh, so uh, okay. we have questions from some of the participants. So uh, Priyanka Kashyap, she has asked a question. Hello, sir. Uh -huh. I have a question regarding which universities are best in astronomy and astrophysics, because I want to do my masters out of India. So uh, yeah. right. Um, Hetu mo kumse um ala. It would depend on your own personal preference. So, uh, so I think uh, Manchu has answered that uh, it's 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 a very important question. Uh, it would depend on your own personal preference. So, it would depend on your own if you have more questions on applications and stuff like that, I'm happy to talk more about it later on. So, I hope, I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. So, depending on your interest, it will matter. And uh, so, I don't want to say something which is wrong right now. So, oh, more, so maybe we can share your email ID with her, right? Sure, 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 sure. I'll, yeah. uh, I'll just put it in my um, chat box for uh anyone uh, and anyone who wants to uh, chat more about anything uh i'm happy to talk about it okay and, thank you um, also participants are money gathered here so i don't say i'm actually at a series of plan korea so that money us canada by europe or belag belag got application process to belag belag so already the kidney students i'm a homer how come more kiss one belag like students so they can already uh admission probably have come whole uh funded they have been on funded they have so they don't care for two money connect correct and i got through so and i got on our talks so application process to look and i go here we call up uh that series actually plan korea so so i hope you'll stay connected uh he told her to our personal information not on zanibu le pari watu maluke zikini bahira to apply korea okay uh so uh let's proceed to the next question uh Himakshi Kosik. So she has asked, Hello, sir. As you mentioned, dark matter is present everywhere. So is dark matter also responsible for sound not traveling in vacuum? No, Karan, the main thing is that sounds into travel. It travel is that atoms or mazot at a disturbance. Aru sound is to do with the Aru uh, main boost to this is it my dark matter normal matter logot interact in a good dark matter how to am I say you call the dark matter table for it I'm also to the normal atom ticket that to my sound to propagate to a table into money it will not interact with dark matter okay okay I think uh, uh, she has got the answer so there is one more question from Dixita Bhattacharji so she has asked hello sir you mentioned about measuring the velocities to reconstruct the galaxies what are the ways to measure these velocities? Right, it's a it's a great question actually. Moi hedu kotha na patlu the time my presentation to yes lo. There are multiple ways to measure the velocities actually. Um, so duta bostu lagya je ki ami velocity measure kori bolar. So eta hoyse je okay. So pratham kotha to hoyse je zikunu galaxies wati hoy. Ye galaxy tour prakhi ho galaxy eta spectrum thake. 
स्पेक्ट्रम तो तो जाना तुम लोग मैं पढ़ा सके मैंने जस्ट फ्रम दिस्ट्री जो तुम गेलेक्सित तुम अक्सिजेन आसमार जिको बेलेग मलिकूल आसमिशन लाइन थके दूर राफलिटी बरुआ So I request her to kindly unmute herself and ask the question. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, uh, hello, I'm Rignani. I'm from Hindi Girls College. I have a uh-huh. question. Yeah. Ask her. So, if black holes holds everything inside, even the light. then is it a conspiracy that universe is expanding or what exactly happens when black holes consumes billions of energy in the universe uh so uh, so hoy mane so black holes does uh, so okay so the correct statement is not that black hole consumes everything the correct statement is uh, black hole atar usoror eta area jodi loilwa tar bhitor jodi pori gola you cannot escape out of that but that does not mean that ke area to bahir jon kini bostu ase that is also consumed by uh, black hole so mane you have a black hole uh, and you have an area which is called the event horizon tar jodi bhitor pori gola then you can't escape out of it इनिभार्स the universe is not expanding so at the scale of the black hole the gravity of the black hole is much more stronger than the anti gravity of dark energy so there's no way that the expansion of the universe is happening at that scale into if you look at very large scales that ki hoy that to my gravity to ke anti gravity is into strength he to bahi jay डांगर स्केल तुम चुना एकदम गेलेक्सर मजर जो स्केल सो कि मेटर बस्तु तो गेलेक्सर तुम कन्सेंट्रेटेड थे डार्क एनार्जी जो कम दैट इज एवरीवेर लाइक एवरीवेर देर स्पेस देर इज डार्क एनार्जी गए तुम गेलेक्सि थे गेलेक्सित मेटर थके मेटर तो ऊर पाजर जो ग्रेविटेशनल पुल स्केल ग्रेविटी 
us say they both exist but they are very different phenomena working on different scales okay okay uh, i kind of understood but i i guess i still need to search and understand about this topic no thank no no definitely so definitely yeah no good question <laughs> thank you so much sir uh if i may add to that actually a problem to arise so because like uh, my intuition the universal scale to grasp kora to amar bahut beshi difficult hoy jay for example like cosmologists ta tenko kane atak ko horbo sute hoy se thake galaxy ba galaxy cluster so but like then ako tar bhitor eta horu black hole ase to scale to te bahut dangor eta difference hoy jay yeah yeah which probably is what mane jekhini amar students ba abhi even amateur enthusiast jekhini hoy sake hey scale to grasp korte hoy to difficulty hoy neki Definitely. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we have one more participant, Hiranya Nath. Uh, so he has raised his hand. So Hiranya, kindly unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, hello, sir. Hi, Kog. Sir, Namaskar. Namaskar. Sir, my second question is: the uh, first question to which is the, Jodi, our universe can expand, how is it? Mane. কি হলো কি এক্সপ্যান্ড হই আছে আর আর ওই দ্বিতীয় क्वेश्चन তো হইছে যে মানে এটা মই আর্টিকেল পালু যে এটা গ্যালাক্সি আছে এন জি সি বলি 1277 হুইচ ইজ ল্যাক অফ ডার্ক ম্যাটার স্যার হাউ দ্যাট ক্যান বি পসিবল হুম মানে স্যার যোন টু গ্যালাক্সি হয় স্যার মানে হয় স্যার মানে তাতে ডার্ক এনার্জি তো ল্যাক করা বলি কয় মানে হেটু কেন কই পসিবল স্যার যদি সবতে ডার্ক এনার্জি আছে মানে না ডার্ক এনার্জি নহয় এটা ডার্ক ম্যাটার বাই দ্য ওয়ে ডার্ক ম্যাটার ডার্ক ম্যাটার সোর্স আছে সোর্স ডার্ক ম্যাটার হয় ডার্ক ম্যাটার না থাকা তো ইমান আসলে নহয় কিন্তু কিন্তু স্ট্রেট আনসার মই মই হেটু কুনিছিল হে পার্টিকুলার গ্যালাক্সি তো কথা কিন্তু মই এতিয়া ফলো কই থকা না মোর রিসার্চ डायरेक्टली হেটু নহয় কিন্তু এটা বস্তু হইছে যে হে তিনি মানে হেতু হব পারে বহুত ক্ষেত্র যে তোমার অরিজিনালি যেটা গ্যালাক্সি ফর্ম হল ধরলো আপলে দুটা গ্যালাক্সি হেপলে লগ লাগি গল কিবা কারণে কিবা কারণে তোমার হে এটা গ্যালাক্সি যোনখিনি তোরা হেখনি ভাললে ভেলোসিটি টু এনি কোসে তাহান কেটা ডার্ক ম্যাটারৰ পৰা উলাই গুছি গল তিনি কোয়া কিবাটা হব পারে কিন্তু এক্স্যাক্টলি কি হৰ কাৰণে তিনি কোয়া হৈছে হেতু আমি না জানো আৰু স্ট্ৰেট ফৰ মানে মই মানে মোৰ জিমানৰ এগেইন লাইক মই টু ডেফিনেটলি না জানো কিন্তু মানে মোৰ মোৰ জিমানৰ আইডিয়া মানে ৰিসাৰ্চ কমিউনিটিটো ডাইৰেক্ট আনসারটা নাই যে এটো কাৰণে এটো কৰিব কিন্তু এটা ইন্টৰেষ্টিং বস্তু এটো যে হে তেনেকুৱা যদি গ্যালেক্সিজ আমি ঢেৰ দেখো হেটো দেখিলে আমি আমি কব পাই আমি এটা বস্তু মনত ৰাখিবা যে ডার্ক মেটাৰ বস্তুটো কি আমি কোনেও না জানো আসলে all we know is uh, it is something that does not interact with uh, normal matter or uh, it only interacts with its gravitational force kintu tar bahire aro bahut properties thakibo pare odike eta jonto research e eta currently choli ase eto je eni ko black black dhoron galaxies saible tat jonto tumar matter distribution hetu saible ami dark matter bishoy kiba kobo paron ki je dark matter tu jodi eni ko hoy tetia ami eni ko galaxies na dekho mane if we have dark matter candidates x y and z eta dark matter candidate thakile am hoyto ami hoyto sake eniko galaxies na dekho aru second jundu type or galaxy hetu dekhile hoyto ami we we may see some other signatures so he teniko eta direction choli ase so in short more to my exact question to answer na janu kintu mane it is also a very interesting research area hetu janu um first question to the what is it expanding into hetu moy um actually slide out my bar uh, briefly touch kori silu je mane main bostu to hoye je tomar um mane like it is not expanding into anything like the space itself is expanding to me enake bhabo para je eta balloon lola balloon eta jodi tumi loi pila jodi tumi eto phulai dia balloon tur jun khini bostu ase balloon tur jun tu size originally asile tatke dangor hoy gol hena ar he jeta dangor hoy gol जगह 
ডিফারেন্ট <laughs> 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 Thank you, question. Uh, uh, I think, uh, Dr. Supanta, uh, can we take uh, two, three more questions if you have time? Sure, 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 sure. sure. Okay, okay. So uh, we have uh, another uh, Ramandeep Jaiswal. So he has raised his hand. Ramandeep, can you kindly unmute yourself? Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Sir, I have a question. Uh, yes. I have heard that the uh, Spitzer infrared telescope has been shut down. So does it mean that the relevance of infrared astronomy is decreasing now and if not then what are the uh, chief observatories now that detect infrared signals right so so um again that is um, slightly outside um, the line of research that i do but like I, i'll i'll say one thing so which is the the um the 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 relevance of infrared cosmology when it comes to something like uh, this the 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 surveys i talked about right the the um, stage 4 surveys that i talked about uh, for that it is going to be immense actually so we we need things at the infrared so that we can get better distances so that we can get uh, let's say um you know so so infrared is also good when it comes to distinguishing dust from so dust meaning like so you have galaxies and like there are molecular clouds in front of that 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 actually like obscures the viewing of those galaxies and if you have that like you know if you have that molecular cloud what happens is infrared can pass more easily through that cloud and uh, and you know uh, but but the rest of the light cannot uh, is something you cannot see so so you know like yes i mean spitzer i, I actually have never um you know work or even even like uh, read much about spitzer except uh, yeah so 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 i i don't know much about that but but yeah i mean uh, in general like you know i i don't think any wavelength will become obsolete like you know it's just that you know so going into the future in general the, what is true is like you will have many different telescopes and i think like you know once these surveys are complete the main challenge would be how do you combine different wavelengths together to get a even better picture of the universe and i think that's what it will look like in uh, in a few years yeah well so pranto if i may add to that i would like to say that yeah. the very recent telescope james webb that is actually uh, that works in the infrared regime yes so actually that, you're right yeah 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 it, it, it has a near infrared uh, thing yes That's, that's uh, so true. yeah ramandeep if you remember that picture that hubble took of the what we call as uh, the pillars of creation so you can see that recently the, uh, james webb has also uh, taken the same photograph and you can see it's very transparent some certain features such as stars those are visible which are not visible because hubble operated in the visible uh, wavelength so yeah like uh, just like suprantha said the relevance will never go away of any wavelength right yeah. so yeah maybe uh, we can move on to the next question aparwada uh, yeah uh, so uh, there are a couple of questions for dark matter and dark energy so uh, i'll just try to club all the questions so one of them has asked what is the main difference between dark matter and dark energy and the other question uh, Uh, is about uh, how do we know that dark matter surrounds us because uh, he's saying that uh, since dark matter surrounds us like normal matter so how do we differentiate it so that's right. the question mm-hmm. and uh, there is another question regarding dark energy uh, so how does dark energy originate from dark matter if so why is the amount of dark energy far more than dark matter right okay mm. yeah let me see if i have gotten everything uh, correct okay so the main difference between dark matter and dark energy i would say dark matter clumps together and dark energy does not so dark energy is like present everywhere on your space but dark energy is uh, dark matter is something that actually clumps together at say the locations of the 
galaxies. So that's the main thing. Um, and related to that, which is like, you know, does dark energy originate from dark matter? Well, I mean, there are theories which says that, you know, there is interaction between the two and therefore, you know, the two are interchangeable. And, uh, you know, the people have, like some theorists have proposed that that is one way how you can reconcile the observational difference between two, um, uh, between two, uh, between the tensions that I said uh, earlier about like the current observations. Uh, but again, like the work on that is, uh, is still preliminary. Uh, I would say there's no evidence that uh, right now that dark energy and dark matter, you know, talk to one another, but, you know, maybe, maybe that answer will change in like, you know, 10 years or 15 years. So we don't know. And, um, and the question about, yeah, dark energy, the dark matter surrounds us just like normal matter, but how do we know that actually it's dark matter? That's, that's a great question, actually. So there are a few answers to that. So uh, one is like, you know, yes, uh, you, so, so one thing you can do is like, you know, normal matter, as I said, does interact in different ways, where, which means it does emit light in different wavelengths. So you can look at galaxies and see what the distribution of normal normal matter is. And then you look at like the gravitational attraction around that. So for example, you can do that with gravitational lensing that I talked about. So by comparing the two, you can say, you know, where the, where is the normal matter and where is the dark matter basically. And by comparing the two, you can see that, you know, dark matter actually surrounds like all the other galaxies by, you know, by, uh, it, you know, so dark matter surrounds all the galaxies um, on top of like the normal matter that you have. I hope that answers the questions. Uh, yeah, OK. Uh, so uh, there is one more question. So Abhinav, he has asked about the softwares that you had used uh, for showing the simulations in your slide. And right. he also has asked, like MATLAB is being taught to us. Uh, so is MATLAB efficient enough to create such simulations? Uh, yeah, great question. So, so I think currently in the scientific community, the standard, um, language that we use is Python more, most of all. Um, I, I use like MATLAB once in my undergrad, but then never used it. So I don't know what the current state of MATLAB is, but the general, uh, general, um, statement would probably be that yes there is uh, like matlab may not be efficient enough to run like you know large scale simulations and so on and the other thing about python is that like you know so so the reason matlab is popular is because in certain fields people have made these packages which you know you can use out of the box for your users now for our field for example there's nothing like that in matlab but rather we have a lot of such software in uh, let's say Python um, and uh, and you know and and going forward also like you know um, if like things like machine learning will become more important where you know where packages in Python are well integrated into the machine learning uh, software so yeah I think I think Python is the one that we use most commonly but if we have to scale up certain things which requires more you know heavy computation then we need to use like say C or C++ or something like that so yeah okay uh, so this is the last question so uh, what happens if two black holes come in contact with each other will they merge or will the bigger black hole swallow the smaller one uh well i mean actually the difference between the two is not that much as as you might think because like you know the merging is basically sort of, or or rather the bigger black hole swallowing the smaller one is similar to them merging basically so yes i mean they will merge and in fact like you know that is one of the signatures that that you know gravitational wave observatories like uh, ligo actually go after and and they try to you know measure that signal in terms of the gravitational wave that is emitted from such a merger and uh, yeah and 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 we have already seen like i think like many like almost 100 such uh, events if I'm not wrong, I'm, I don't remember the exact number, but going forward, we'll see more such mergers uh, with, like, you know, with better uh, LIGO observatory and so on. Yeah, I also do see one more question from uh, 
it was from i think priyanka right okay so how do scientists study and detect exoplanets and what does this tell us about the potential for extraterrestrial life okay so priyanka i want to promise you this today the next session will be on nothing but exoplanets pure 1.5 hours of fun with exoplanets nothing else uh, if that makes you happy i hope it makes you happy okay so yeah upurvada yeah himanshu i think uh, uh, we had a very exciting session right and since a lot of questions has been asked so i think the participants also enjoyed it but now i think uh, uh, if there are no further questions i think we can close the session with a vote of thanks uh, is it correct himanshu uh, yeah 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 so nobendra are you there uh, yes i am here yeah. Yeah. So, Novendra, kindly present a vote of thanks to Dr. Suprantha Sharma Burua. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, to begin with, in this talk, uh, Dr. Burua talked about the introductory idea on the cosmology, the role played by the telescope in the field of cosmology, or uh, uh, understanding the concept of universe rather. He talked about the development on uh, gravitation lensing. Uh, something about the expanding universe dark energy etc and all this talk was quite comprehensible to the emerging minds or rather uh, young enthusiasts i do hope that our students gain some insight from it and will take some ideas or hints from this talk and will pursue their career accordingly towards this field of cosmology with full enthusiasm for this therefore i express my gratitude towards dr borua for his excellent insights and meet the expectations of our students uh, i do hope in future also you will be associated with us and we'll uh, talk of some more aspects of the cosmologies and uh, i would also like to thanks the student for their active participations and uh, attending the lecture in full and finally i would like to thank the team of e2 key to talk series I mean, Dr. Purva yourself, Dr. Uh, Pintu Burman, Himang Shubora for organizing this talk, and uh, uh, and and more such talks are coming up in future. So I hope that will create equal excitement uh, uh, for the students. So thank you all. Okay, uh, over to me. Uh, thank you, thank you, Novendra. So, so any final yeah. remarks? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So first of all, thank you for inviting me. And and first, I can't say this enough. I think this is this is a great series and a great initiative that you have undertaken. And you know, of course, like I really enjoyed uh, talking about uh, uh, the stuff that I talked about. And most importantly, like you know, thank you to the students for asking such engaging questions. And I, I mean, would highly encourage you to keep up that curiosity and enthusiasm as you uh, grow up. And you know, and good luck for everything. And please don't hesitate to, uh, you know, if you have more questions or anything, like please feel free to send me an email, and you know, I'll be happy to chat. Uh, anything related to research or, uh, you know, applications or whatever uh, it may be. So I'll be happy to talk more about it. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, everyone. so uh, thank you, Dr. Supranto, once again. And as I had already said before, so if you visit Assam, uh, so kindly uh, let us. Uh, Uh, give a chance to host you. Actually, we'll be very happy to organize a seminar and meet you in person. Actually, so sure. uh, please, please do that, and uh, we'll Definitely. we'll keep in touch. Yeah. No, thank, okay. you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, okay. everyone. Okay then. Bye bye. Good bye night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.